Hey everyone, I'm going to try to make this a quick review. Um, this is a nice laptop for the price. Um, I, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, the only, the only thing that I, the negative that I, uh, have to tell you about is that when you, when you power it up and you start, you know, you do the setup mode and you go to start to download your apps, such as Google Chrome, because I'm a big Google Chrome fan for my, um, default internet. And, uh, it, it didn't accept it. It said this, uh, device runs in when on windows S, um, and only allows apps from the Microsoft store. And it, it if you Google that <laughs> and read about what my, what, uh, what windows, what the S mode is, it's not safe mode. It's, it's a, it's a platform that only allows, like I said, you to use apps or that are already on here in as defaults or download apps that are actually in the Microsoft store. Well, Google Chrome was not. So, um, but you can simply go into your settings to change that, which I did. I Googled how to do it because I don't want the S I want to be able to have access to all, um, the applications of windows. So you go, which I have, which is windows 10 on here. So you go to your update and security, um, let me see if I can show you here. You go to update and security and you go to activation and you click on that. Now it's not going to do it here because I've already switched it over. Now this says edition windows 10 home, but originally it said edition windows S and then it said get as if you're going to get an app. And when you click get windows 10 home, it will warn you once you switch and you turn over to a Windows 10 Home instead of the Windows S, it'll warn you you won't be able to go back to the S, S mode. And it's the only thing that that is, is it's a safety uh, measure that, um, so nothing, you can't install anything that, uh, that's outside of the Win, uh, the Microsoft Store um, because they've deemed what apps are safe to use. So it's a, it's a good safety measure, but I prefer to have the uh, full gamut of the Windows 10 operating system and download the apps that I want. I don't want to be dictated. So um, with that said, I did download Google Chrome. So I'm going to, after once I switched over, it was easy. You just go and download all the apps you want. Um, I just wanted to show you quickly um, the keypad here. This is kind of important because I was a little confused about this at first. Okay, so the key mouse pad. This is your mouse pad. I do have, I did install a little uh, wireless mouse, which you're able to put in little mini USB there, micro USB, and here's my mouse, um, which works great. Okay, so I can use that, but I can also use the keypad here. Um, now when you want to go to, I, when you want to go to your, uh, numbers pad, rather than using and typing your numbers and going back and forth up here at the top of the keyboard, you have your 10 key here. So, um, you simply take your finger where it says slide and you're going to slide it down because there's a little keypad here and that is going to switch you over to your numbers mode. So let me see if I can... Now I'm going to start typing some numbers. Let me put my cursor in here. It's still there. So I'm going to slide it down. There. There's your numbers. Fives, six, nine. And then you have, now you want to say you're done with your numbers and you want to go back up to using your mouse, there's your little arrow. So that shows you go up to the direction to begin to use the cursor again. So that's how that works. Um, other than those two little things, it works just like a laptop that has Windows on it, your Windows um, Windows operating system. So it's just, this is exactly like my desktop. Um, it is not, I have very high, internet speed in my home. And, uh, it does not upload a very quick. I mean, it's fine. Um, for, like I said, for the price I paid, um, it's not, it's not a Dell, it's not HP, but it works great. It's a great starter computer. It's great to just 
tag along, you know, and carry along if you want to just keep, you know, have your um, mobility, you know, take it to wherever and you have your desktop right with you. That's what the convenient, it's a convenient thing. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money on that. So this is really, really worth it. It's a great laptop. It's very light and thin. And, um, so I really, that's about it. There's not, um, like I said, there's not a lot of speed. Um, the internet itself is good, but the downloading and there, let me show you, cause I'm going to just click on that. See, I can show you how, how, uh, how it doesn't always boot up right. There we go. That's not bad at all. It does take a bit for the pages to load. Um, but once you get going, it, you can see it's, it's fine. It turns over just fine. Um, and the downloads are what are you going to find that are going to be a little bit slower than what you might be used to um, using your PC on your desktop. So that is about it. I hope that the review was somewhat helpful for you anyway. And thanks so much for watching. Take good care.